What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante Coupe. Huge shout out to Lamborghini Charlotte for providing this car for today's video. I'll have the link to their website down in the description below. Definitely check them out. They have a huge selection of brand new Lamborghinis and pre-owned Lamborghinis just like this one, so definitely check them out. And the model that we're looking at today is finished off in Bianco Monocurus and had an original MSRP at $305,000. At the heart of the Performante is a 5.2 liter, 10 cylinder, naturally aspirated engine. This pumps out 631 horsepower at 8,000 RPM and 442 pound feet of torque. The engine is only paired to a seven speed twin clutch automated transmission, sending the power to all four wheels. And with a drive weight around 3,000 pounds, you can expect to get zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds with a top speed of just over 200 miles an hour. You'll also find part of the ALA aerodynamic system underneath the engine cover. These ducts down here have an active flap that opens and closes to allow air to go into the struts for the spoiler. This active aerodynamics is a really great feature for the Performante. The air goes into the actual spoiler and gets deposited right beneath the spoiler to help eliminate all the downforce to make this car go as fast as possible when in a straight line. And then when the flaps close, it creates high pressure on the top of the spoiler, helping maximize downforce in the rear. This features carbon ceramic disc brakes in all four corners with six piston calipers up front and four piston calipers in the rear. The front rotors measure 380 millimeters in diameter while the rears measure in at 356 millimeters. The overall length comes in at 177.4 inches with a wheelbase at 103.1 inches. Excluding the mirrors, we get a width of 75.7 inches and then a height of 45.8 inches. This particular spec has the optional set of center lock wheels. They measure 20 by 11 in the rear and 20 by 8.5 up front, all wrapped in a Pirelli P0 tire. Along with the active aerodynamics in the rear of the car with a spoiler, we also get it with the front chin spoiler. You can see two more flaps up front here. And just like within the rear, they'll open and close to allow maximum downforce when needed and then minimum downforce when needed. For the exterior of the Performante, you're going to notice a ton of forged carbon fiber composite all around. This has an amazing aesthetic look to it as well as providing really strong body parts within the car. The front end has super sharp lines all around with blacked out portions in the center. There's a lot of openings up front to allow maximum airflow through the front bumper to help make its way to the radiators as well as all the aerodynamic features. There's four parking sensors up front as well as LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. Your Lamborghini badge in the center and then flowing up to the front boot lid. There are sharp lines on each side help giving this car a really wide appearance. And moving to the side profile of the car, these satin black wheels have a great contrast against the gloss white paint. We also get the same satin black on the side door mirrors as well as the lower side skirt. The Italian flag color is also on the lower portion of the door panel along with the Performante logo. The brake calipers are finished off in a bright red with the darker red center caps. The Huracan in general has a very wedge-shaped supercar appearance for the side profile. You can see the steeply raked windshield just flowing very nicely from the front end all the way to the roof line. We get functional air vents behind the windows just to allow even more airflow into the engine. And then on both sides of the transparent engine cover there's even more heat extraction vents and then we can see the intake ducts for the active aerodynamic system. And working our way to the rear end of the car, there's a sharp body line from the side vents all the way to the rear end of the car. We get LED tail lights, a ton of mesh back here to allow heat extraction from the engine and exhaust system. We have a center mounted exhaust that does two very important things for the Performante. The exhaust pipes are much shorter than normal from the engine to the tips to allow maximum airflow out of the engine. And then it also creates a ton of room on the rear diffuser for even better rear aerodynamics. You'll see a massive rear diffuser with channels in the lower portion, four parking sensors as well as a rear view backup camera, and then you can even see into the transaxle and the tires all through the rear diffuser. So there's a good look at the overall exterior as well as a ton of the performance specifications with the Performante. What do you guys think of this car? This is the fully loaded track focused version of a street legal Huracan at least. The forged carbon fiber all around the car just has a really good look. I like how this one does have all glossy forged carbon on the exterior. The spoiler, the rear diffuser, everything about the rear is just super clean looking. We got the satin black coloring to it with the gloss carbon which I think has a really good contrast to it. And then especially with the wheel combination, the satin black on the lower side skirt as well as the front lip just has a really good look. Look. And overall, Lamborghinis have that very classic supercar appearance to it. And with the Performante, it's just even better. With a ton more sharp lines, the larger spoiler, the aggressive front end. Definitely a supercar. And there's no mistaking that this is a Lamborghini. Very, very aggressive looking. So with that said, we have the key. Let's go ahead and take a look. Just hitting the unlock button. 
We can go ahead and check out the interior. Just opening up the door handle, opens very easily. This car is equipped with the bucket seats, which have a great look. Full Alcantara interior, more forged carbon everywhere. The door panel is completely covered in black Alcantara. It's all the way from the top all the way down to the bottom. We have a little bit of storage down below, some red stitching along the armrest, and some nice padding in it as well. We get forged carbon fiber on the grab panel, has a really nice look to it. This is all dry carbon on the interior. Your door release handle is right over here, finished off in a black chrome color. All the lock and unlock controls as well as mirror controls, speaker system up front. Moving inside we have a combination of aluminum and carbon fiber for the Huracan written out in the door sill and then more Alcantara on the interior of the door sill. This car does have the single piece carbon fiber bucket seats, have a really nice look to them. All glossy standard woven carbon fiber. You get some black leather along the outsides as well as Alcantara on the insides, all red stitching everywhere. And then moving our way up to the top of the seats, you can see more of the exposed carbon fiber on the front. We get Lamborghini stitched on the headrest as well. Definitely a very aggressive seat for the car, perfect for any type of performance driving, track driving, mountain driving. There is also a comfort seat available, but these ones have a fantastic look to them. Moving our way inside, this has a flat bottom steering wheel with more Alcantara and red stitching. This has some piano black accents to it as well. And then now inside the car, keeping my foot on the brake and opening up this flap, we can go ahead and start it up. And then going through the different driving modes, we have Strata Sport and Corsa mode. That'll also change the exhaust as well as the engine. So bumping it down into Sport mode, the exhaust is much deeper now. It's a little bit more aggressive under idle and then going into Corsa. It's now even more aggressive with the idle and a little bit louder. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have your turn signals. You just push it over for them and just tap it in the center to turn them off. You have the flasher button on the top as well. The buttons over on the left side are for different menus within the screen. Just hitting the center one, you can see the TPMS pop up over on the left side. Tapping it again, we have more settings on left and right to read some of the information within the car. And then you can scroll up and down through different items and then going into a different one, you can scroll through as you can see. We have the cruise control over on the right side, your windshield wipers over on the right side of the steering wheel, and then behind the steering wheel is the steering column mounted paddle shifters. These are finished off in forged carbon fiber, which have a really nice look to them. They have a kind of sharp edge to them, so they have a lot of grip. And then as far as changing gears within the car, with my foot on the brake, all I have to do is pull this paddle. We're now into first gear, and then toggling the M button right here, that'll put us between manual and automatic. Right now we are in manual mode, and then when the A comes up, that's automatic. And then for reverse, we pull this back to go into reverse, and then park is just the button right there. And then when you are in gear, all you have to do is pull both battles together, and that'll put the car into neutral. Over on the left side of the steering wheel, we have all the toggles for your different lighting controls. Just pulling them down will engage each light. We have one of the air vents right here, finished off in forged carbon fiber. More Alcantara on the entire dash. We even get a piece of carbon on the top there. More red stitching as well that tie the entire interior together. Very clean looking and very sleek looking all around. You'll see a lot of these hexagonal patterns throughout it. We get the Lamborghini badge as well. And then in the center here, we have some gauges for various temperatures and pressures. And then below that are more toggle switches. You have your window controls on the far left and right. Just pulling it back, the window goes up. And then pushing the toggle forward, the window will go down. Very easy to use, really cool looking as well. We have the front end lift system right here. When you pull this down, it'll make the whole front end go up. It only takes a few seconds to go completely up. It'll also tell you on the center gauge screen where it is in its process. And then just pulling it back again, the car goes back down. And then we have your traction control button as well as hazards, the parking sensors, and the other window control. All of your climate controls are located up here with all of the media and radio controls down here. To control all the climate for fan speed, you just tap the button, it comes up on the screen, and you can control how intense you'd like the fan to go. And then for the zone, you just tap this one, it comes up on the screen as well, and you can toggle where you'd like it to go. Very simple for the rest, we have AC, the front defrost, the recirc, and then an auto. And then for the temperature, it changes right here. 
And below that, for the media controls, this comes up on the center screen right here. So if I go ahead and hit the menu button, it moves the tack over on the left side, and we now have all the media in the center. Using the larger dial, I can scroll between a bunch of different settings within the car, going all the way over into car information, we can see a few different items, and then going back, we can go into telephone, information, your media, radio, and then more settings within that. We have your navigation button, an information button, and then going into car, we can see some of the settings like we saw earlier. So very simple to use, and then radio controls over here, we have the mute button as well volume and then holding this button down will shut that off and move the tack back in the center. Underneath the media controls is the engine start stop button. You don't always have to open up the flap which is a really nice touch. There is a cutout shaped in a hexagon but then underneath that is more gear selections so for reverse pulling this back your backup camera pops up in the center as well as the parking sensors and when I turn the steering wheel the guidelines will change as well. And then going back into park, just tapping the button, we have the electronic parking brake, a little bit of an armrest and some storage as well as a 12 volt. You have your CD player back here and then a little bit of storage back here on the partial shelf. And then as far as more interior storage space, there is a little space underneath the centerpiece. You have enough room to fit a few smaller items like another cell phone. And then we do have the pockets in the doors. And then just take one last look at the overall interior. All the Alcantara and red stitching has a really nice look to it. These bucket seats are really cool to sit in, super aggressive carbon fiber and everything has a great touch to it. We have a full Alcantara headliner, all of your dome light controls up here, then opening up the visors right here for the sunshades. You got a little mirror on them as well. And then just to take a look at the overall visibility and view out with this car, the side mirrors do a really good job letting you know what's going on behind you. You can even see the air vents, which is a really great touch. These windows also do a really good job letting you see up front. The windshield has a really nice rake to it. It's super aggressive looking out. You can just see how low everything is. The side mirrors are really large. So you actually have a lot of side view visibility. And then being these are the thinner carbon fiber seats, that side window in the rear actually does a really good job. So visibility for being a supercar like this with a mid-engine layout is actually really good. You can see the spoiler in the back, a really good view out overall. And then just sitting in the car talking what it's like in these bucket seats. They are aggressive. They are hard carbon fiber seats, definitely designed for the track. I can see them being pretty good on the street as well. They're really comfortable to sit in, really good support on the side. You're not really going to slide around in the car. But even with the armrest on the door panel, it's actually in a great spot for comfort. And then the armrest you get in the center is a nice touch for the newer Huracans. And then the overall fit and finish, as you would expect in a Lamborghini, everything is put together very nicely. It's very nicely crafted with the carbon fiber and Alcantara. You can tell this is a high-end supercar, especially with the materials and just how stiff the car feels, even just sitting in it. You can tell this is definitely a track car. So now we'll go ahead and shut the engine off. Take a look at some of the storage behind the seats as well as the front. So when the electronics are on, all you have to do to open up the engine bay is press the bottom button and then to open up the trunk space, it is the top button. So now to take a look at the front storage space, there's a little latch right here to take a look. Looks like we have a car cover right in here, taking up some of the space, but we do have a pretty good amount of space given the layout of the car. Looks like we have some battery tender stuff. Opening up this side piece right here, we get the traditional white leather Lamborghini gloves, and then over on the left side, opening this up, looks like we have some tire inflator kits. But overall, for being a mid-engine design, we have a lot of drivetrain stuff going on up front. This doesn't have the most practicality, of course, but this isn't a car you're buying for practicality. But even given the space, you can definitely fit maybe two backpacks in here. And then moving our way back to the interior, we'll take a look at the rear storage space. So I've gone ahead and slid forward the passenger seat. These are manual control. They only move forward and back. There is no recline. However, if you do look at the bolts, I'm sure there is some adjustability to it, but these are definitely fixed bucket seats just with forward and back. So then taking a look at the partial self back here, we have a pretty decent amount of space. I've seen a lot of Huracan owners be able to fit some luggage back here. So it is a pretty usable car, maybe fitting two smaller bags here and then two smaller bags up front. You do have two more speakers back here as well and everything is lined in Alcantara. But then one last look at the overall interior, really nice looking with all of the black Alcantara. We have the red stitching along it, the forged carbon, the piano black, as well as the black chrome trim. Even says forged composite on one of the air vents. But a really, really clean looking interior. So then to wrap up taking a look at the Performante, just talking about what it's like getting in and out of these seats. They are more aggressive than the standard seats, so you do kind of fall into them and they are definitely harder than the normal seats. The overall bolsters on each side have a really good height to them. They're not taller than your leg, which is nice, so it's not that bad getting in and out of. The door sill isn't too hard to climb over as well. And then you can see how these sides are. We even get Performante written out in some stitching, which is a really nice look to them. But while being very form-fitting seats, it is nice how it is not too bad getting in and out of. So just climbing out, pretty much like any lower supercar like that. 
Well guys, unfortunately, I think that is about gonna wrap up. Taking a look at this 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante Coupe. Huge thank you once again to Lamborghini Charlotte for providing this car for today's video. They have a huge selection of not only the Performantes, but even some SVJs in stock. They have a huge selection of Lamborghinis here. So definitely check out the link to their website down in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this Performante. I really like it. I love the seats, I love the carbon, especially in white. I really like this car in white. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Give it a huge thumbs up, smash the subscribe button. See you guys next video. Oh,